buggy, my strap, let him pull it off. Man, what's y'all hobbies, man? Have y'all 
y'all driving, trucking, not driving, truck, but hobbies y'all have. And trucking, you need hobbies, man. You'll go crazy just driving, trucking, just stop, sleep, drive, stop, and sleep. Like I said, when I stop for the day, 
I know I'm gonna fuel up, then go park. I feel it's simpler that way to do it. I'm pretty sure a lot of people do it like that. But if you don't, I'm just putting it out there for you. You can know. Probably works better. Fuse up and I was about to get ready to park. I was about to put the seatbelt on. I don't know why. I just have it. <laughs> you don't really need it on right now when you're parking. We fueled up, man. Man, them apps come in handy, man. I mean, I don't remember the last time I put numbers in at the pump. I don't think I did that since I started driving, well, started training. Yeah, man, like I was saying, they be having people flying around the parking lot, man, for no reason, man. Y'all 
Y'all gotta be careful while y'all back and they have a, a truck try to fly behind you. In 400 feet, make a U-turn if possible and then make a U-turn if possible in 700 feet. This is what I try to do most of the time is turn into a straight line back if I don't have to angle back at all. Cause we got the 53. But the thing about the uh how these trucks are spec. It's a 53 footer, but it's not like the trailer 53 foot, but how the truck and trailer spec. I think the total length is like 84 foot because they got their uh, fifth wheel pushed all the way back. Cause how they got their truck spec for over length loads they be hauling so they don't have to get permits, special permits. But yeah, man, they got this uh, CRST. Let me see if I can zoom in for y'all. Drive a bag and Look like he training. He probably a student trying to get it down. He jackknifed it too much better. Yeah, that's what I mean. To me, it don't even look like the, the trainer just sitting there smoking. He ain't telling them nothing. Man, he jackknifing it too hard, man. Continue back. Hopefully, he go forward. Let's hope he go forward. Nah, he continuing back. He gonna jack like that, sir. And he just look at the the train just sitting there looking. Come on, man. You get you not getting paid to do that, man. But that's that's how these trainers do, I guess, man. I'm glad my trainer wasn't wasn't like that, man. But yeah, man. Your boy parked in Alabama, about 50 miles away from the drop. But yeah, man, that's our day. We probably gonna get back on after we go get something to eat and see what we gonna do. But man, y'all stay up, man, stay positive. Stay trying to do better, man. Prosper, man. We wasn't born to just exist, man. Make a difference, man. But y'all stay up, man. Y'all stay strong. And y'all stay safe on that road. What's up, y'all? We back real quick, man. Something just dinged on my mind what I wanted to talk about. It's going to be short, but, you know, I'm going to get everything set so I could, after I do this, talk about this, I'm going to just go out and get me something to eat. Come back to the truck and get on my iPad. But, yeah, man, I just want to touch on the base why, man. A lot of people make videos about how they hate trucking and complain about trucking, but yet they still doing it. I know you do it for the money aspect, but why Why hate it when you know what you're getting into? Like, man, I came in, like, you can't control, like, when I first came in, I'm still a rookie, I only got eight months, but when I first came in, I was complaining, like, why this, why this is happening, man, you'll drive yourself crazy, man. Just come out here and do what you gotta do. Know that stuff ain't gonna be perfect. Knowing that it's it's trucking, man. You gonna have mishaps. You might not be able to get home when you wanna get home. Freight might not might not allow it, or you might be at a shipper where you gotta uh, wait for long periods of hours to get loaded. But you can't control that. That's out of your control, man. We just gotta be out here focused on what we can, what we can control, and what what's our why? Why are we out here in the first place, man? We all out here to get money, that's obvious. But man, you could you could use trucking to set yourself up, man. You could be set up good in life. Like me, I'm 21. By the time I'm 25, I could be set up good in life, man. Good, man, life is good now though. We building our credit, credit's getting great. Stacking the bank account. 
and doing research on investments we can make to set ourselves up, man. Like I say, I'm only 21, so. And I mean, I've been watching videos. I've been doing a lot of research on the game, learning stuff. Learn things you don't know because you don't know everything. You just gotta, you know, get in, get out. Some people don't want own. Some people won't be company job, but you could be a company job and invest. If you smart with your money, you can invest in things, man. You don't never have to own a truck, man. You could do lease. You could be a lease operator. I know a lot of people say bad stuff about it, but most people don't work. Most people good with money and good with numbers, so. They not worrying about the truck payment and stuff because they not trying to make this into a lifelong career. They just trying to make it into, just trying to make it a quick career so they can uh, stack their money up and invest in other things. Some people don't want to be in the truck their whole life, man. But you know, man, just something for thought, man. Just thought I'd bring that, bring that out because it was on my mind, man. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Demonte, the trucker. We about to go get something to eat. We about to go get something to eat. <laughs> but yeah, man, y'all see, see. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Demont Taylor Trucker. Thank y'all for watching.